What's happening right now in NVIDIA Corporation? Let's see what's going on. Amazing channel that we have right there. Look at the latest price action. We're going to comment that just right now. First of all, remember to read the disclaimer right here and also in the description below. And welcome to Trading HD. Amazing videos each day. Welcome. Let's get started. First of all, you know, NVIDIA stock reached new all-time highs alongside with other stocks. Very interesting market situation we have right now. But the price started to go lower from that current levels and very interesting to see the after hours trading also today minus two percent from the current price very interesting with that minus two percent closing last week what is happening here guys do you think this is the correction the start of it do you think this is just like a candle that is moving lower and it will continue higher let us know in the comments and let's get started with nvidia corporation okay so nobody is a fortune teller but i gotta tell you guys if you go to the daily chart and you activate the macd and the rsi you can clearly see that we are in overbought territory which means that this is the the most risky situation for a trader you know actually if we go to the price action of the over the of this year you can clearly see that these areas those who bought the stock around the red areas below these are the best uh, buying opportunities and on the other side if you buy in, in the green area is the most risky situation so actually let me see this yeah even in the rsi the lower part so obviously look at that you know that that that's a good price entry and the other one was this one a very good one as well this one here in january 2024 so look at that you know obviously you both in the in the lower part you you had to activate the logarithmic scale in the macd but this is these are the best area to buy that's that's very interesting so, you know this is the situation that you had to avoid, you know, buying in those areas, you know, in, in the in this in the upper areas of the MACD. Yeah, it's interesting to have that indicator in mind. You know, the oscillators sometimes they work uh, wonderfully well, and other times you see like what is happening here. But in this chart, you can back test it and see how it worked in the past, and maybe in the future you can apply it if you want to follow this strategy or similar ones because you know that you also have the relative strength index that is a very similar indicator to the MACD. And, uh, you know, moving averages also could be related with those higher and lower prices. But the oscillators type of indicators are very good for, uh, you know, ranging markets because you buy at the lowest part and at the highest parts also you, you can sell. And in trending markets, you get some of the best entries. And also it's interesting to see when you have everything selling, uh, sorry, everyone selling in this type of stocks, the market is crashing minus 50%, minus 60%, even minus 80% sometimes. Those are the well, those were the best moments to buy because at the end of the the year or the decade they recovered and went higher. But you know you have to be prepared for that and it's not an easy task. You know so this is not for everyone. Each has each one has to find their own trading style. And you know let us know in the comments which are your trading favorite styles. And I wanted to mention something related with the market cap. That is very interesting, you know, that this company surpassed Microsoft and Apple to become the world's most valuable firm. Wow. But with the shares declining nearly 3% on Thursday and then on Friday also a little bit, they handed the title again to Microsoft and then Apple. I think right now they are the third company, NVIDIA is the third one. Not bad, you know, to be in that podium, but obviously they are all competing to reach, you know, I, I think they call it like the big tech race to $4 trillion market cap no no jokes you know <laughs> wow this is absolutely amazing let's go to the fundamentals because nvidia is enjoying a very healthy situation in terms of revenue actually look at that the forecast is amazing so even though the stock is crashing a little bit right now the the forecast for the for the next quarters even the next years are incredible we're talking about in 2027 and we will be yeah, the company will be making wow this is absolutely nuts you know two, 220 billion in 2027 so that's actually four times more than what they are making and the way what they were making actually in 2023. Yeah, those forecasts are completely insane, you know, and we have also the 53 analysts offering one year price forecast for Nvidia Corporation with a maximum of $200, not bad, 58%. The average plus 1% and then that minimum one, we don't know if, if that is a joke. It, it, it doesn't Who's that person? Sense, but you know, it's very strange to see that. But Identify you never know. yourself. <laughs> Who's that You never know. So maybe he's right. We will see with the pass of time, minus 88%. But you know, the average is still positive, plus 1%. And some of them are saying, you know, like this stock is still a buy. And you know, the analyst rating you can see on the right, based on 60 analysts, we have 46 strong buy. 
eight by and six holes. So not a bad situation from that side also for NVIDIA Corporation. What do you think about it, guys? Do you agree with this analyst or do you have a different perspective and forecast for NVIDIA? And you know, the growth in the next in, in the net income, sorry, was clear and you know they expect something similar for the next forecast. So we will see how it goes, but as usual, follow your own trading plans. I remember guys, you know, the only risk we have here in NVIDIA maybe is just a stock market crash. NVIDIA is, is enjoying a very healthy situation. You know, it's not the same as AMD. So it, it, the only way to see the stock, the stock like crashing minus 50, minus 60 percent, which is normally Nasdaq stocks, is just a market crash. The, the same way it happened in 2020, the same way it happened in 2008, the same way it happened in 2000. Yeah, and that moment could be a very good opportunity to enter into that stock. In our opinion, because if you backtest it, you can see that. But it could also be like the worst moment if the stock crashes. You have to decide that by yourself with the fundamental side, the technical side. And, you know, trading is an adventure. We are all together in this. But at the end of the day, you are alone in the trenches also. Thank you very much. We hope that this video helped you in your trading journey. We really appreciate all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, Trading HD family. Let's go. We are very happy. More than 1,400 subscribers reaching 1,500 soon. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Bye-bye.